guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a first impression slash one brand tutorial featuring e.l.f. Cosmetics. I love one brand tutorials, especially drugstore tutorials. You guys know I love drugstore makeup. So e.l.f. has a bunch of brand new makeup products. Some of them were sent to me, others I ordered myself online. I figured why not just do a one brand tutorial featuring their new stuff and some of their older stuff that I love that I've used in many tutorials before. I've actually done a few one brand tutorials featuring e.l.f. but they're always coming out with new makeup products that I figured weird why not do another one? And I'm also gonna be using some of their makeup brushes throughout the video as well, which I love. They are so affordable. If you're looking for some really bomb quality makeup brushes and you don't wanna spend a lot of money, definitely check out e.l.f. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy the video. As always, don't forget to grab a snack and let's get started. All right, so we are starting off with a fresh face as always. So I am gonna go ahead and start off with my brows first. I don't remember if I used this pencil last year when I did a video like this, but this is their Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I don't know if I did. I think I just used their regular brow pencil, but this one has a really nice fine tip. Is my camera gonna focus ever? Kind of just looks like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I feel like a lot of drugstore brow pencils are starting to look like this and I'm not mad about it. So this is the one in the shade, I think it's dark brown, I believe. Pretty sure I actually got some of this stuff online and at Target. Target has a lot of the brand new e.l.f. stuff as well as Walmart, so check it out. So of course, I'm gonna use this to outline my brows. Oh, this color is looking a little too red for me. Like it has a little bit of a red undertone, but it's a nice formula. Oh yeah, this is not a good color. Ooh. Elf has another brow pencil, which I, so there's so many products where sometimes I use them and then I hate them or they don't work for me and then I use them again a couple months later or even years later and they end up working out and the other Elf pencil and their pomade was one of those products for me. Like this pencil isn't bad. It's just like the color that is really, really off. Just like first impression, but I do like the formula of it. Oh yeah, this does not match. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna move into their brow cream and this one is in the shade Espresso. This is actually a fresh pomade. I just got this because the one that I have is a little bit too light for me. So this one I think is gonna be a good match. And I'm gonna use this Duo Brow Brush. This is their Precision Eyebrow Duo Brush. Oh wow, it's very rich. Every time I use a brand new pomade, I'm like, oh my God, this is like really intense. Oh, this is a good brush. Really, really good. I love the brushes in this line that they have. I haven't tried all of them. I have a few other ones here today, but the ones that I have tried are bomb. I'm gonna prime with the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. I haven't used this in quite some time. At least I don't remember using it. So I'm gonna test it out again today. I used to just hate eyeshadow primers for some reason. I felt like they just didn't work well with me and I was just using concealer for a really long time but now I love eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and I'm gonna just blend that primer in. This is my favorite brush. This is such a good brush for blending out your concealer in really precise areas, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna just use a little bit of translucent powder and I'm just going to set my lids. You don't have to do this. I know some people say that it, if you don't do this, it makes your eyeshadows a little bit more vibrant. I just feel like I need to set. I think today I'm gonna be using a mixture of two eyeshadow palettes from e.l.f. These are amazing. Well, I've never tried this one, but I've tried the Opposites of Track palette and I adore this palette. They're actually available now in stores. I saw these at Target. So this one I've used before in a makeup tutorial and then the colorful one I haven't used at all. I'm gonna jump into the Opposites of Track palette and I'm gonna be picking up this shade right here and I'm gonna be applying that right in my crease. Kind of like a mustard color. I'm gonna use this blending brush. This one's from Collab. And then I'm gonna take the shade down here, which is called Saucy. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna just buff that right in the crease. Sorry, I'm like, I feel like I'm not in the middle. There we go, is that better? Let's move the camera. 
okay yeah okay sometimes I just get so into the makeup that I'm like literally out here like not even in the frame <laughs> look I'm doing it again Moving into the Hit Wonders palette, I'm going to be taking this orange color right here. It's like super bright. It's called Heat. I'm going to take that heat color and apply that right on the outer crease. This shade right here is just speaking to me. I'm gonna go in with the shade Candy and I'm gonna apply that on my lid. I'm going to spray my brush just because I always spray my brush for the most part. Ooh, it's like a pink magenta color. Oh, it has like sort of like a duochrome effect. It's really, really pretty. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like that. I love that combo. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of the shade right here, which is called Velvet. Mm, this is a little bit darker than what I actually initially wanted. I kind of just wanted to Mix it in with that. Do I like that? I don't think I like that. Okay, no. Let's go back in with the shade Candy. Because I'm not really feeling that. Actually, <laughs> mixing Candy in there kind of creates its own shade. Okay, now I like that. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. crease brush and I'm gonna be taking the shade Solar, which is that bright yellow. I'm gonna be running that very lightly in the crease. Okay, then for my favorite part, I'm gonna go in with these e.l.f. eye tapes, which are my go-tos whenever I do my winged liner. These are amazing. You can actually find these in stores at Target. So it's literally an eye tape. It looks like this. And what I like to do is just cut it in half right down the middle. And doing this just assures that you get more for your money. And you just make them last longer. I mean, there are only $2, but I never used to cut them down the middle and one of you guys gave me that idea and I'm like, that is so smart because now these last me forever and I love that. So you get 40 strips in here. So technically you get 80 because if you cut them in half, it's perfect. So if you ever wanna just make the edges of your shadow super precise or you wanna use these for winged liner, I'm telling you, they are amazing. So now for liner, I'm gonna be using this black gel liner. Look at how cute this little packaging is. I love it, and don't mind my nails, I need to get them redone, but this looks just super black. Like, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I need that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my wing. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pop on some lashes. I don't know what lashes I'm gonna do, but I will leave them down below in the description box if you're interested. So I'm gonna just pop those on and then we'll move into the skin. Okay, so the liner turned out much thicker than what I originally had because I put this lash on and then it got messed up and then I tried to fix it and then, yeah, that's why my wings look like this. So they don't look even or perfect 
but you know, it happens. So now we can jump into the skin, which is what I'm honestly most excited for because there's a lot of new face products. So let's start off with this. This is their Glow Radiant Moisturizer. It has coconut and hyaluronic acid. This looks really, really, really good. As far as e.l.f. skincare, the only thing that I've tried is their Illuminating Eye Cream. It didn't really do much for me, but I'm all about a really good moisturizer. Mm, it smells like coconut but it kind of smells like SPF. So anyways, I'm just gonna apply this on the bottom portion of my skin. I should probably take these off because my forehead is very oily. Oh, I still have eyeliner on my finger, cute. Yeah, my forehead is the main oil spot on my face. So I don't really like to apply glowy products to that area because it's already like, you know, pretty shiny. Oh, that's really, really pretty on the skin. It's like really hydrating too. Okay, Elf, that's pretty. I'm here for it. I am here for this. I love the fact that it doesn't have glitter in it. Normally with stuff like this at the drugstore, I'm always so like iffy because you can sometimes see the visible glitter chunks, but this is just like, kind of like the Becca backlight priming filter. If you guys are familiar with that, it's literally just like a glowy, beautiful, dewiness radiance to the skin and this is like just like that so then for the forehead i'm gonna go in with the matte oil control primer and it's pretty much the same exact packaging it's like that light pink which is really really cute i'm gonna apply that right on my forehead oh okay it's kind of like a silicone primer i don't want to say i don't like it but i feel like there's so many silicone primers that typically don't really help with oil control. They kind of just help with smoothing the skin out. Okay, for foundation, I'm gonna go in with their Flawless Oil-Free Finish Foundation. This one has SPF 15 in it. Honestly, I don't remember too much about this foundation. I've used this a while ago. Like, I don't even remember the last time I used it, but the packaging is really, really nice. So I'm gonna just go on my phone and look up some claims about this so it says it's a lightweight oil-free formula that blends naturally into the skin for a beautiful semi-matte finish that lasts all day restores uneven textures and tones for visibly brighter skin so it's lightweight oil-free and it basically is just like seems to be just something super light on the skin so let's go with it to apply the foundation i'm going to use the total face sponge it's the one with like the really really tiny little holes in it which i know some people don't really like the holes in it but i feel like that's what makes the skin look so flawless and by the way i'm in the shade nude which i don't know if this is gonna match uh, i think it will oh wow that's Pretty, and this is like a good match. This is really nice coverage. I really like the way it looks too with that dewy, glowy lotion underneath. The pump is not working, so I'm gonna just use that directly onto my skin. My face is clean, I promise. Wow, that's really pretty. Why have I not consistently used this foundation? Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Wow, the coverage is beautiful and like, I'm just obsessed with the way that it looks. Okay, now for concealer. I did a full wear test between this concealer and the Tarte Shape Tape, so if you have not seen that, definitely check it out. But I'm gonna go in with the 16 Hour Camo Concealer. And again, this is also available in stores. I just saw it at Target yesterday and this retails for $5. I was gonna say six, $5. So I'm gonna take the shade Medium Beige but I do like a little bit of lightness. So I'm gonna just kind of mix this with light beige as well. Now I have so many favorite concealers. So many of you guys, oh, this is a little light. So many of you guys were asking me which I like more. So this between the Makeup Revolution concealer, um, probably this one. I think this one has more coverage, but the Makeup Revolution concealer is really, really, really nice. It's a little bit more lightweight than this one. Um, this one is a little bit on the thicker side. It's not cakey or anything, but if you want something a little bit more natural, the Makeup Revolution one is perfect. But this one, I mean, look at that coverage. It's freaking flawless. Now, comparing this to, let's say, Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Concealer, I have to test that side by side. That's on my to-do list. But this coverage is really really nice and you guys already know i'm gonna take my flawless concealer brush where is it here we go for the inner corners because the sponge can only do so much i feel like i'm kind of far away from you let's zoom back in a little bit yeah that was 
not cute. By the way, I know that these lashes, I should probably cut them. They're a little too big for my eyes, but I, I still love them. They're beautiful. Now for translucent powder, I don't remember if I liked this or not, so I'm gonna use it again. I have this in my collection. This is their translucent powder in sheer. Just looks like this. I'm kind of nervous. I'm really picky when it comes to translucent powders, and I really like the way my face makeup looks, so hopefully this won't ruin anything, but let's go with it. I don't know how to feel about this. I'm gonna take a photo with flash and see how it looks, but I'm not really too obsessed with it right now, just like right off the bat. I'm gonna use this Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium. These powders are literally $2. I've been obsessed with these ever since they came out, like since I can remember. They had like a little bit of a different packaging, but these are really, really great touch-up powders, setting powders, they're beautiful. I'm gonna go in with the Selfie Ready Stippling Brush to dust the powder on my face. I'm gonna really kind of like pack this in. <laughs> Look at this, do you see that? It's like a splotch. Okay, my face looks a little bit darker than my neck, but don't worry, we're gonna fix that. My favorite technique whenever this happens is just applying bronzer to my chest. I feel like it just balances everything out. And my favorite brush is this 101 brush from e.l.f. I love this, it's so, so good. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this bronzer. This is in Perpetually Tan. I don't know exactly what this is called, but it's just like a matte bronzer. And I'm gonna take some of this Tap off the excess, and I'm gonna just start bronzing everywhere. I'm gonna use their pointed powder brush. Applied a little too much, went a little crazy with the bronzer. So then to contour, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. duo. This one is in Fiji, and I forgot honestly how much I love this little duo. This used to be super popular on YouTube. It kind of reminds me of NARS packaging, as you can see. So I'm going to just take this shade because it's a little bit more on the cool tone side. I'm going to use an e.l.f. blush brush, which I never really... Well, actually, maybe in high school I used probably use this for blush, but now I feel like it's perfect for contour. Then for blush, I also forgot how much I love this blush palette. This one is in light. I don't know what I did with these products. I must have donated them by accident, to be honest, because I love these, and this little quad is absolutely amazing. They also have a dark one. But today, I'm gonna be sticking with these two colors, and I'm gonna be applying those to the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna be taking a stippling brush from e.l.f. Avi. And just apply that right to the apples of the cheeks. Do you see that wash of color? It's crazy how pigmented these products are. Okay, and then for highlight, I actually have two that I'm gonna use today. This one is in 24 karat gold. Look at that glow. Looks amazing. And then the other one that I have is from their e.l.f. Plus collection, and this one is in glow highlighter. And this one, oh, just kidding. It's called Glow Highlighter, but the shade is in golden. Okay, I'm gonna start off with this one, 24 karat gold. Ooh, that's pretty. It looks very wet on the skin, which I'm all about. Ooh, especially once you start building it up. Girl, that looks good. Do you see that? Okay, I'm going to use a different brush now, and then on the other side, I'm going to use the golden highlight. Okay, this one, that looks like that. That looks like that. So, obviously the colors are different, but this one's definitely a little bit more on the subtle side. 
it's still pretty if you want something a little bit more natural. The brushes that I'm using, by the way, I use the Anastasia A23 and then the highlighting dupe for this from Amazon, which is the Do Care highlighting brush. I will link these down below. I'm gonna set my makeup really quick. So this is new. This is their Hydrating Coconut Mist. It says hydrate skin and refreshes makeup with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. So I love the bottle. I really love their dewy setting mist, which this smells just like the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I love it. It smells like summer. Um, so I'm really excited about this. And then I also have this Glow Dewy Mist, which kind of looks very milky, as you can see. So I kind of want to use both because like, why not? I'm obsessed with setting sprays and I really like that dewy one. So I feel like these are going to be good, hopefully. So I'm going to start off with this. Oh, wow. This, oh, my lash got stuck. <laughs> this smells just like this. So just a little FYI. Jumping back into this palette, I'm gonna be picking up the shade right up here and I'm gonna be, what is this called? Quartz, and I'm gonna apply that in the inner corner. Okay, so I'm going to spray my brush once again because I feel like that really makes the shadows pop when you do that. Also gonna get that brow bone. To blend out the crease, I'm gonna be taking some of the shade right here, which is called Solar. I really like this color. A little bit darker when you apply it versus actually in the pan. I guess maybe because I'm also mixing it with some other colors in here in my crease already, but I like that color. Then I'm gonna take the shade Heat once again on the lower lashes. You guys already know, one of my all-time favorite brushes for the lower lashes is the e.l.f. Contour Brush for the eyes. It's like a nice domed brush. It's rounded and I feel like it kind of does the blending for you. All you have to do is just take the shadow on your lower lashes, drag it out a little bit and that's it. I love it. You don't have to do a lot of work with this brush. So I'm really gonna make that pop. I'm gonna just take the gel liner and I'm gonna apply that right onto my waterline. I'm gonna use the same eyeliner brush. And then I'm gonna take some of that purple and I'm gonna use a flat eyeliner brush from e.l.f. Obby. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be taking that and I'm gonna kinda press that right on the lower lashes just to really kinda smudge out that black and blend it out. And finally for the eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and coat my bottom lashes with the Length and Volume Mascara. So now I'm taking the same mascara and running it through my brows. The wand doesn't seem very goopy or like very like voluminous. So whenever that happens, I just kind of use the mascara as a tinted brow gel. Okay, now for lips, I'm going to go in with the matte liquid lipstick in Blushing Rose. Love the applicator on these because they're kind of pointed. This doesn't really match with the eye makeup, but that's okay. Okay, then for gloss, I'm gonna go in with their Plumping Lip Gloss, and this one is in Peach Bellini. I've actually used these before, and I love them. It's not like a stinging sensation on your lips. It feels minty, but it's nothing like crazy. There's certain plumping stuff that I really don't love because it just it feels like just too much on the lips, but these feel really nice. All right, finally, I'm gonna go in with this glowy mist. This is their e.l.f. Plus Glow Dewy Mist, and I'm just gonna go ahead and top my face off with this. Oh wow, this smells just like the other one too. I feel like these all, may maybe they might be all the same. Um, yeah, it smells just like the other two dewy sprays, which I like. It smells like coconut and just like summer. So this is the completed makeup look and I absolutely love it. The only two products that I can say I wasn't like a huge fan of right off the bat was one, the translucent powder, which I'm pretty sure I used that before. Don't remember my thoughts on it then, but right now I'm just not a huge fan of it. Also not a huge fan of the mascara. It just didn't really do much for me and my lashes. My lashes 
aren't really the greatest, but I do have some favorite mascaras and just first impression, this is not one of them. But everything else I loved. I love the colorful eyeshadow palette. Really like the lip combo. I mean, obviously I used a lot of these products before, but some of them I kind of forgot like how good they were until I like reused them again today and I'm like in love. Also, can we talk about this glow? This is beautiful, like stunning. It's so wet and just amazing on the skin. I think it looks really, really good. So I'm really happy with everything. I don't have any complaints for you guys as of right now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna come back in a few hours, let you know how everything is wearing, just because like the foundation I haven't used in a while, so I'm curious to see how it's gonna look throughout the rest of the day, even though it's not a new foundation, but just to see how everything wears. Also, I really wanna keep wearing this because I have this matte blotting mist that I'm really curious to see how this is gonna perform on my skin and how it's gonna absorb any oil that I get, because my forehead, it kind of looks a little bit shiny, but it's not, but we'll see how the products wear. So yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back, and yes, I have makeup on my shirt. Don't mind me, I had to change because I went to the gym. And before anybody comes at me in the comments, I do not wear makeup to the gym unless I absolutely have to which in a case like today, I did. Typically, whenever I'm filming, I like to plan my days ahead where I don't have to go to the gym with makeup on and I can go to the gym early, but today it just didn't work out that way and I really wanted to get a workout in, so I know it's not good for your skin, so. Do as I say, not as I do. So as I was putting my shirt on earlier, I definitely got makeup on it, so that's what that is. Um, so right now, it is pretty late. It is 9.15 p.m. I've been wearing this makeup for several hours at this point, and this is what it is looking like. So yeah, I was sweating like crazy. I was trying, obviously, not to wipe my makeup off. I was kind of just like patting it at the gym. So I did notice right here, like on my cheek, that it is kind of faded and it looks a little splotchy, but only my left side. The right side looks really good. The brow Brows are still in place, which is great. So that mascara worked really well. I thought they were gonna like melt away because I was sweating a lot. The eyeshadow is still in place. So that eye primer is actually really, really good. It's $2, which is amazing. So thumbs up for that eye primer. My T-zone actually isn't as oily as what I thought it would be, and surprisingly, because I went to the gym. Like there have been times where my face is just super oily and I don't go to the gym. So I think that mattifying primer is actually pretty good. By the way, I haven't touched anything up on my face. I haven't touched up my lip color I haven't touched nothing so this is still like intact and I think it still looks really good minus the outer corners obviously and minus the fact that like this over here is a little splotchy but the highlight is still in place the shadow the brows I mean I'm pretty impressed like obviously if you look up close I do have some like black I guess that's like what eyeshadow I don't know little specks of makeup on my face. So obviously it doesn't look perfect, but it doesn't look like totally terrible. Like I've definitely had worse makeup days. So what I'm gonna do really quick, just because I my forehead, you can see it is pretty, pretty oily. I'm gonna use the matte blotting mist because it just looks really, really interesting. And I'm just curious to see how this is gonna work. So it says it's a mattifying touch-up spray which helps absorb excess oil for a mattified complexion in seconds. So directions, shake thoroughly, then hold the bottle several inches from your face and spray a light layer. Okay, let's test it out. Has a different kind of scent. Kind of minty, but kind of different, I don't know. Oh, I forgot my screensaver is on on my computer. Hopefully that's not too distracting. Oh, also the eyeliner is still on my waterline. That gel liner that I used is good, like really, really good. Has awesome lasting power. Um, I also wanted to mention that I did take a photo with Flash earlier and you can see the little bit of translucent powder that I did put. By the way, I don't know what I was looking at. I don't know what I was doing in this photo. It's not a cute photo, but the little bit of translucent powder that I did put underneath my eyes, you can see there is a white cast. So it doesn't look terrible, but that powder definitely is not a favorite of mine. It feels a little bit drying as well, and it's just not a fave. Other than that, I really loved everything that I used that was new, and like I mentioned earlier, a lot of this stuff I had already used, and I kind of like refell in love with it all over again. I'm really, really happy with the products minus the mascara and the translucent powder, but everything else I love. I think it's definitely worth trying. Do you need all of these setting sprays in your life? 
No, I feel like these are all, to be honest, the same. I guess it just depends on the one that you wanna get. Um, to me, they all smell the same and they're all kind of like the similar concept, like glowy, dewy mist. Like they kind of all give you the same effect. So just a little FYI, you do not need to get all three of those. Two standout products for me that were new is for sure this Glow Radiant Moisturizer. I think this is beautiful. I cannot wait to continue to use this and incorporate this in my everyday makeup routine. Also, I absolutely love this highlighter. This reminds me of an Ofra highlighter, which is crazy. I feel like e.l.f. has so many really great dupes for high-end makeup products, so I'm really, really happy with this highlighter. I think this is stunning. I mean, you can see it's still intact. It's just so, so stunning on the skin, so I really love this. So those are my two standout products, but like I said, everything I really, really enjoyed, and I can't wait to keep using it in future tutorials. Um, I don't really notice a huge difference with that blotting mist. Um... I mean, a little bit on my forehead, but you can still see a little bit of shininess peeking through. So, I mean, I don't know. It's one of those things where I will definitely have to keep using it. it might be a little bit of a gimmick, but it's it's not terrible. So, yeah, that is it for this makeup look. I am ready for a shower, and hopefully my skin won't hate me for going to the gym with all this makeup. Anyways, let me know what your favorite products are from e.l.f. down below in the comments. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Also, please subscribe before you leave. I upload three new videos every single week. And yeah, that is it. Thanks for everything, and I'll see you soon. Bye!